Hey guys, welcome back. Fred here from Math and Engineering. We're gonna do a really quick video for you on uh, fixed end moments, so uh, what they are and how to find them. And it's just gonna be a really, really simple video, just in case there's anyone out there who's seeing fixed end moments for the first time and you just want a couple examples to, to cement your, your knowledge, okay? So uh, as always, you know, before the video starts, if you could go ahead and uh, click down below in the subscribe button and, and hit that like button if you do enjoy our video and our content because it does help us out so, so much. Thank you for that. And with that being said, let's go ahead and let's take a look at the question here. Okay, so we have a uh, two fixed ends and beam here. We have uh, two sections to the beam, so it's continuous. And we have two point loads, one at 18 kip and one at 10 kip. So uh, what are fixed end moments? Well, fixed end moments are when we take a beam and we assume that each section of the beam has two restrained uh, ends. So two ends that are restrained from from rotation, and then we find the moments about those sections. And we can use those moments in various structural analysis techniques in order to solve for other things, okay? But um, in, in a lot of these questions, you will be asked for to find the fixed end moments before you do anything, or as part of a question, and you need to know how to find them. So the first step we're gonna do is we're gonna take this beam and we're gonna separate it into two fixed end sections. So we're gonna take AC and CE. We're going to assume they're fixed. Okay, so this is A, we still have the 18 kip here. We have the 10 kip here, okay? This is C and this is CE. This is gonna be B and that's D. All right, and uh, as you remember from before, or just from above, we have the 10, 20 foot and the 10 foot distances here. You don't have to do this on the, um, on the exam or anything or when you're asked to do it as part of the problem. I'm just doing it to show you how you split it up. So um, your professor should give you, or it should be in your textbook, some sort of uh, some sort of table for the fixed end moments, and you're just going to have to follow that. And that's really, you know, there can be some cases um, that are tricky, and I'm just putting that up on the screen for you now. Okay, this is the one that was given to us when we did it, but um, so I'm sharing that with you now. So this is this is the fixed end moment table. You need to know kind of the sign convention. You know, the last one on the bottom right there. That that's very tricky. Actually, you can make uh, easy mistakes there if you plug it in incorrectly, but. Uh, the ones that we're dealing with here aren't so bad. So let's take a look at the first one here. All right, so I'm just going to write an arrow and we're gonna, we're gonna come down here and we're just going to solve this one. Okay, so as we can see, we have a, a point load here that is not in the center of the beam. Okay, so the first step is to recognize that on the table that is actually the second example. And what is A and what is B and we just need to plug it in, okay? So as you can see, P, A, B squared over L squared is for the moment on the left side. And, um, and that formula below is for the fixed end shear. So that will be for other problems, but we're just gonna do the moments for now. Okay, so let's go ahead and plug that in. Um, as you know, okay, um, well, in these usually counterclockwise is positive. So that's the sign convention that we're going to take. Okay, so the fixed end moment, and we're going to say fixed end moment of A, sorry, A, C, okay? So that means on the left, all right? And then C, A will be for the right. Okay, so you can use a different sign convention if you want. That's what we're going to use here. Okay, and that's going to be PAB squared over L squared. All right, so that's going to be equal to P is 18. That's the load. Okay, A is the distance from uh, the left portion of the support to the right. Okay, so that's going to be, in this case, 20. B, or B is going to be 10. Okay, so I'm just following essentially what the, the table gave us squared and L is the total length which is 30 squared and if we punch that into our calculator we're going to get 40. So the fixed end moment for AC so that's going to be right here is 40 and the units are kip feet. Okay, Perfect. Let's do uh, the fixed end moment for CA. So as you can see for CA, our formula changes a little bit, okay? It's going to be negative because we are, just look at our sign convention, okay? It's uh, opposite of our positive sign convention. And we have P A squared B over L squared. Okay, so we go ahead and plug that in. We have negative P, which is uh, 18 still, okay? We have our A squared now. So A is the same, but now A is squared. So we have 20 squared, okay? Times 10 over the length, which is the same, which is 30 squared. Okay, it's gonna give us a value for uh, the fixed end moment of CA, okay, of negative 80 kip feet. Okay. Let's move on to this one here, and this one's actually a little more simple, so we're doing the, the more difficult one first, and then we'll do this one next. Um, maybe another video we could do, if you want, comment down below if you want me to do some trickier examples, but um, I, after doing this, this should be good enough for you, let me know. So, um, so we're gonna use the first example, the table is back up on the screen, and we simply have PL over eight, 
okay? Because we can see here that we don't need to use this formula anymore because the distances are equal. The concentrated load is in the center. Okay, so let's do uh, the fixed end moment for CE, okay? And that's just simply going to be PL over A. And now we can go ahead and, and that's going to be a positive moment. So let's go ahead and plug in. So we have 10 times the full length, which is 30 over eight. That's gonna give us a value of 37.5. Finally, let's find the fixed end moment for the other side. That's gonna be negative, right? As our sign convention shows on the screen as well. Okay, so we have negative PL over eight. It's the same on both sides. Okay, and that's going to be equal to negative 10 times 30 over eight. Okay. And that is going to be negative 37.5. Okay. Sorry, that's EC. So EC is equal to negative 37.5 kip feet. Okay, so that's a pretty simple example on how to uh, solve for pretty basic fixed end moments. What we've done is we've solved for all the fixed end moments for this beam, and uh, we've just assumed that this, we've split it into sections and assumed that all and uh, ends are fixed, so they're restrained against rotation. And that's how you find fixed end moments. Um, comment down below if you enjoyed the video. If you want to see some trickier ones or if you got it, let me know. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video.